Three Bulgarian citizens have been arrested in the UK on suspicion of spying for Russia. Two men and a woman were living in a flat near a Royal Air Force base in West London, the Telegraph writes. The suspects were also charged with possession of forged documents, including passports and identity cards from the United Kingdom, Bulgaria, France, Italy, Spain, Croatia, Slovenia, Greece and the Czech Republic. Politico reported in early April that Russian intelligence Intelligence is actively trying to rebuild its spy networks in Europe. After the beginning of the full-scale invasion of Ukraine, the Kremlin has a special interest in Europe. Russia is very interested in swaying the elite of European countries to its side to make them their sympathizers, to sway the opinions of government officials and top leaders to its side so that they pursue policies that are convenient to Russia, to prevent the Europeans from supplying arms and military equipment to Ukraine. Among the 220 accredited persons of Russian diplomatic and consular institutions in Geneva and Bern, at least one-third works for the Russian secret services. This is according to an annual report published by the Swiss intelligence services. Russia's war against Ukraine has made it difficult for Russian spies to work in Europe because of sanctions and visa restrictions. The expulsion of a large number of Russian diplomats and visa restrictions for Russian citizens played a significant role in this. On the other hand, the war opens up opportunities for Russian intelligence to send its agents as refugees. The large number of refugees probably helps some intelligence officers to travel undetected and find refuge in Europe. However, by entering under the guise of refugees, they do not have the necessary level of access and cannot rotate in the same circles as those with diplomatic accreditation. Consequently, as a replacement, they are less useful, at least in the first few years. From a report by the Swiss Federal Intelligence Service. Another option for Russian intelligence is to recruit local supporters of the Russian world, those who have lived in Europe for a long time but continue to hate Western democracies. Russia has switched to so-called one-time agents, experts say. They proactively get in touch with Russian intelligence and fulfill their tasks. Or even if they do nothing but just broadcast Russian propaganda to the masses, they are also useful idiots. That's why Russia uses such initiatives initiators, such one-off items. Once used, everyone gets the information. They are not pitied. They are not spared. If they got caught, it doesn't matter. Since the beginning of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, Europe has taken drastic measures against Russian spies. In spring 2022, France expelled 41 Russian diplomats from the country. In April 2023, Norway declared persona non grata 15 employees of the Russian embassy and Sweden expelled 5 Russian diplomats, all because of espionage activity under the cover of diplomatic status. Control system in civilized countries. They are general enough to make Russian intelligence uncomfortable. But one-off assignments may well pass. The person is no longer in contact with intelligence. It's quite difficult to trace such matters, but nevertheless you can. Recently, there has been an increase in reports of the detention of such one-off agents. For example, a married couple from Argentina were detained in Slovenia. They are suspected of working for the Russian security services. In Greece, they also detained a couple who were spying in favor of Moscow. And not so long ago, Czech president Petr Gavil said in an interview with Radio Liberty that under current circumstances, Russian citizens in in Western countries, quote, should be watched more than before because they are citizens of a country that is waging a war of aggression. Reported by Sergei Kulas, Angelika Prushnevska, UATV News.